Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be episode three of my Sims series. Excuse my eyebrows, I'm dyeing them currently. The TV is also um, on but I can't bother to turn it off and if you see anything in that cage down there that's just my hamster. So that's all the disclosures. Okay so I'm now screen recording. This is if you remember this is what the house looks like. So last episode what we did is we redecorated the kitchen diner which is here and yeah it does look you know very in your face but I, I quite like that. Um, so today we are going to redecorate the bathroom at least so I'm going to try and do that now um, very quickly in real time. This bathroom is so small though like it's literally tiny. Right bathroom. First of all we're going to change the walls. Tiles. I just feel like it doesn't match the rest of the house if we do that. Unless we just do like paint. Oh my god, we could do like a pink bathroom. I'm so doing that. Right. It's so hard to do this when it's such a small space. Yeah, very nice. Okay, I like that. This is a renovation, so I'm not gonna change things too much, but I might change like the color of things, like these curtains. I'm gonna use this um, tile print, which is from um the maximalist pack i'm not sure what the name of the pack is as usual but yeah i'm gonna use these tiles so i quite like this actually yeah that's really nice um so yeah i think i'm gonna stick with that for the bathroom just something nice and simple and if we do it as a bird's eye view this is what the bathroom looks like so i think that's quite nice oh actually one thing i do want to add very quickly to the bathroom is a bath mat so i'm just gonna add a pink bath mat there is that the side where you get out i think that's the side where you get out okay is there any towels oh there is a towel rail there actually i'm gonna change the color of that as well to like a white color right i'm happy with that the stairs oh bloody hell i think i must have accidentally done that right so let's go upstairs now the next room that i'm going to do is her bedroom because that's the room that she's going to use most often i really want to use like some patterns oh my god i'm going to use this pattern <laughs> yeah this is a very much a very busy house um in terms of how it's going to look I am actually going to add in a couple more lights upstairs because it's very dark. So I'm just going to pop in one of these lights. Okay, so again, I'm going to just renovate. So I'm not going to just change everything because I think, you know, naturally people don't just change everything in their house when they move in. Yeah, I quite like that. I also like that it's quite rustic. That's nice. And then this mirror. And then... These lamps. Okay, these images on the side, I'm just gonna get rid of these. I don't like these at all. 
I think what I'm gonna add there is a picture, but a different one. A casual picture of a chicken. Or we put the chicken picture here above her bed and then here we can hang up like a dressing gown or something like that which I'm assuming yeah is here so she likes pink so she can have that oh and then we can add in a cheeky little laundry basket right here there we go um, I don't know if I like this chicken actually Oh, I like this painting. I'm going to go with that painting. Right, so I am just going to change the carpet very quickly because I just forgot about that. And I'm just going to have a really nice kind of plain carpet just because I feel like the rest of the room is quite busy. Let me just see what's going on. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely nicer to have a carpet in a bedroom than a wood floor. Oh, and this rug, oh, true, that rug has to go. That rug looks scratchy. So I'm going to get rid of the rug and I will put another rug back there where that was. But a different rug. Oh, I haven't seen this rug before. We got like, um, that's quite funky. I don't know if it matches the rest of the room. Does that match the rest of the room? Does it need to match the rest of the room? I don't think it needs to match the room, to be honest with you. Oh, I might put a little plant there, actually. That might be cute. Yeah, that's cute. We'll pop that there. Okay, that's the bedroom done. So I've just renovated the bedroom. I've also renovated the bathroom downstairs. Next, I think I'm just going to quickly speed over me doing the hallway upstairs um, and then we can do some gameplay. finished doing my speed build and I've just done the hallway area I did the walls plain because I just thought the rest of the house is quite crazy the carpet's red and I think that looks posh I don't know does that look posh to you or there's not the kind of carpet that you'd have like these days but obviously the rest of the house is very like colorful and stuff like that and also my carpet when I was younger was pink and my parents bedroom was red so this is very much like back like 20 or more years ago kind of vibe um but yeah I added a couple of paintings on the wall I actually want her to get into art because then she can do paintings herself and I actually really like the paintings that the sims do I tried to add a rug here but I just couldn't decide what fit so I just left it and I left the chess area here because I've never actually done a build where there has been a chess board but yeah, so that's that done now. So obviously I've done the bathroom, I've done her bedroom and the hallway. What's left to do um, in terms of building is next episode I might do this room, which will be a spare bedroom because um, that will eventually be like a baby room. And then what's this room? Oh, that's a spare bedroom as well. So that'll probably be another spare bedroom. And then the main bathroom upstairs. Right, she's asleep in her new bedroom. Oh, I've just realised I didn't change the bed. One second. 
I want the bed to be a different colour. What colour? Pink? I'll put it to the pink. So I'll wake her up. I did actually play it a couple of times since the last episode and in terms of friends, she's really strong friends with Eliza Pancakes who is actually pregnant. She announced that she was pregnant um, and for some reason she's managed to fall out with a couple of people and that was nothing to do with me. I don't know, she must have been playing by herself. Um, and then the person that she's been getting, she's been getting to know two men because we need her to find a husband, um, Travis and Glenn. And she knows Glenn a little bit more than Travis at the minute, but I'm not too sure. So we're gonna, we might, I could invite Glenn on a date. I'll invite him round and then potentially she can ask him on a date. I've just realised we've invited him round and we haven't even woken up yet. So I'm going to make her some breakfast after she's rang him really quickly. So she's going to make some pancakes. I'm just going to check when her birthday is. Oh, her birthday is ages away. Glenn has arrived. She must be a selfish person because it says here brag about job title. I always find it weird when they invite Sims over and the, sim the person they've invited over immediately goes to the computer. So at the minute, her and this man are just friends. Don't know if he actually has a wife. Let's travel with him somewhere. So where is he? There he is. They're going to be friends in this episode for now. And they're going to go out for a trip somewhere. Because she's only really got to know him over the past few days. Um, where can they go? I guess... They could just go on a friendly trip to the museum. Where did he go? Oh my god, he just ran off. What the hell? He literally just started legging it and he's gone. Well, it looks like she's gonna have to have a trip by herself then because he's just abandoned. That means that he is not gonna be her future husband because that was rude she can make some friends here instead oh i think she already knows this guy yes yeah, she does so is this supposed to be a museum I guess while she's here she can view a few paintings. I still don't understand why that guy just absolutely legged it. Like as soon as we got here he just ran away. That's so rude. Here's a random person. She's not met this person before. What's upstairs? Oh, this looks better. Right, considering the person that she was meant to come with to the museum has completely disappeared, she might as well go home. She spent a little bit of time at the museum and she's met some people um, as friends, but yeah, she's bored now. There's not too much in the museum, so I'm gonna send her home. Right, um, Hmm, I guess she can use the new toilet. Get her using the facilities. She can take a shower. Um, 
and then she can play a game. Oh, Glenn's ringing. That's the guy that ran off. How rude. He just said, this is the guy that could potentially have been her future husband. He's just sent her a text saying, quick question, Rochelle, Cotton and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together, should I do it? And he was the person that just ran off from their trip. Well, she don't care anymore, so he can go for that. Right, I'll make her some food and then we'll put her to bed and then that will be the end. So she can cook something. She can have taco casserole. Didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, she's watching TV while she eats, that's cute. I always find it weird when sims wash up their pots in the bathroom. Right, it's half past eight in the evening. I'm gonna put her to bed in her new bedroom. And then um, she can have a sleep. So this is the end of episode three. Before episode four, which will be next Friday, I will um, play the game a couple of times just to get her to get to know people a bit more. She certainly won't be getting to know that guy anymore called Glenn who ran away. Um, so it has to be somebody different because he is a pube. Um, but I'm gonna redecorate probably the rest of the house to be honest with you. Um, yeah, re redecorate the rest of the house and then we'll try and take her on a date with somebody because um, she needs to find somebody so that we can have children in the house and make use of one of these bedrooms. But yeah, stick around for episode four, which is, yeah, episode four, which is next Friday. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next video, which will be on Monday. Goodbye.